So what happens when we run out of things to be edgy about? Atheism, for instance, used to be edgy. Now it's just old hat. The discussions about feminism versus anti-feminists and SJWs versus anti-SJWs, it's old hat. So what's next? You can't talk about Trump negatively because the Trump supporters will say that, oh, that's all old hat too. Okay, fine. What is interesting now? What's interesting and edgy? What do we do when there's nothing that's edgy anymore? It used to keep social media going. Now it's just people being mean to each other. So what do we have left? How are we going to keep our minds interested? When I had YouTube Red for a while, Vsauce had this series that has to do with the mind. And he talked about what happens to us when we don't have anything to mentally stimulate us. What happens when movies no longer mentally stimulate us? Well, we need something edgy. Well, what's edgy now? Well, now it seems we've kind of come full circle and now traditionalism has become edgy just out of its own existence. So that's where people are headed now. You can't make something not edgy. If you try to decry it, it will just be considered edgier. So what next? Let traditionalism take its course for a while until it's no longer edgy? How long will that take? To me, it's kind of interesting to think about. Yeah, atheism isn't edgy anymore. It's pretty standard. It's old hat. So what next?